Hey y'all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm kind of doing a little bit of a throwback to something I did a few months ago. So you might remember I did a video talking all about what would be in my Sephora fantasy cart. So this was just basically dream shopping, just throwing anything in my cart that I wanted. And at the time there was like a $1,000 limit. Is there a limit to your dreams? I think not. So I wanted to do the same thing with Ulta because right now, guys, I'm on a self-imposed low buy. So yes, this low buy is just for the next month and a half. I'm trying to not buy as many makeup products. Does it mean I'm buying nothing? No, it does not. I already have some things in mind that I am gonna be buying, but I just really need to rein it in a little bit. You know, just tighten it up. So I did have fun just kind of throwing things into my cart willy-nilly at Ulta. Didn't quite make it to $1,000, but like the total is still, it is something I would never spend all in one shopping trip. I mean, I know I've spent that over time, but damn. If you haven't subscribed already, I would love if you hit that subscribe button. I do put out new videos here on YouTube every Monday and there are a bunch of new people here. So hello, if you're just joining, thank you so much for being here. So yes, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you're really curious to see what I have in my cart and uh, let's get into this. But before we can officially start, it's time to light the cat candle. If you are new here, this cat candle has a metal cat skeleton inside. I only light this candle when I am filming so that we can all watch the magic together as this sucker burn baby burns. I did state in my last video that since this is a new cat candle, we needed a name for this dude. And I got so many amazing submissions. I'm gonna put this down so I don't set my hair on fire. There were so many amazing submissions and so many of you like so many of you suggested Salem, but here's the thing. Oh, you all are gonna unsubscribe immediately. I've never watched Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I know, look, I know, stop judging me with your judging eyes and I can see your judgingness, judgy, judging me. So I can't name him Salem and a lot of people also said Binks as you know, a nod to Hocus Pocus, but a lot of you really knew the way to my heart. The last cat candle was named Ben and uh, you figured out that I like animals to have human names. I don't know why. I think it's quirky. I think it's fun. Some names suggested were Bert. <laughs> I kind of love Bert. Louie, Tim. I mean, I can't name a Tim. Tim's my husband's name. So that'd be weird if I was lighting my husband on fire every week. Or would it? Simon, Onyx, Church. Church was actually a real good one considering I love me some pet cemetery. Oof, Edgar. Some great freaking names, but I have to announce that the winner is this comment. This came from Momo Kitty, and she suggested Frank, Rooster, or Wadsworth. And I'm sorry, but the new cat candle is named Rooster. <laughs> if you've ever seen Annie, and I'm talking the original Annie, not the newer one with Jamie Foxx, but the original Annie with Tim Curry as Carol Burnett's brother, his name was Rooster. Oh God, it was just like that, that, that like little reference. I freaking love it. So rooster is on fire. We can officially start. I love it. All right, I did a little scoocherini so we can put all pictures up here of everything that I'm going to be getting in my head. First, let's just get the big guns out of the way. The Dyson Airwrap. There are several ones, but I got the complete styler for multi hair types and this retails for $550. I did try this out in a previous video. My boss owns one and she let me try hers out. I'll link that video right up here. And just, I, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since. The price is what kills me though. Like I can't even fathom it. Even if I had a 20% off coupon and that takes off a full $110, you are still paying so much money for a hair tool. But I can't lie, it made my hair look amazing. I had like Farrah Fawcett, like big blown out waves. It was so good and it was so damn easy and fast that it also made me feel like I wasn't damaging my hair as much. So I really, really, really enjoyed it when I used it, but like 550 for, <laughs> oh my God. So that takes up the hair spot on my list. But again, that's more than 50% of my cart already right there if I was going for that like $1,000 limit. But spoiler alert, I didn't even make it to $1,000. But let's move on. Let's go to skincare. I have a few items in this cart from brands that I have never tried. So the first one is by a brand called Hand Skin and it's called the Hyaluron Skin Essence. This retails for $25 and, and Essence is just supposed to, again, add extra moisture to your skin. I feel like that's what so many skincare products are meant to do. And I would just 
love to start incorporating in essence into my skincare routine. Hand Skin is also a cruelty-free brand, so that's really exciting to me. Obviously, anything you see on this channel is going to be cruelty-free, but nonetheless, I'm so happy to find new brands or brands that are new to me that are cruelty-free, so I'm really curious to try that one. That will actually probably be something I wind up buying eventually. Next is another brand that's new to me, and it is Peach and Lily. Again, cruelty-free certified brand. This is the Overnight Star Sleeping Mask, and it retails for $43. This is supposed to just be kind of the last step in your skincare routine before you go to sleep, and it really is antioxidant packed, so it holds moisture into your skin really well. It has hyaluronic acid, which is pretty much my favorite skincare ingredient. If something has hyaluronic acid, I'm pretty much sold on it because uh, my skin is thirsty and it needs some moisture. I really haven't had enough water today. It also has peptides which help firm the skin. It has squalane oil, which I absolutely love, again, to see as an ingredient in my skincare. And it just looks like an overall really good sleep mask. I mean, it's probably gonna be thick AF, but like it's gonna sit on there, it's gonna soak in while you sleep, and you're gonna wake up looking 18 to 19 years old. These claims have not been proven by the FDA or by anyone at all. All right, let's move on to makeup. One thing that I have a lot on in this list is like foundations and concealers and BB creams, CC creams. I don't know why, but I'm just on a kick where I feel like I need something new. I'm going through a lot of what I have and a lot of it is almost empty and I haven't seen anything that I'm like really loving right at this second. So I think I wanna try some new things. So that's why there's a lot in here. First is the Uma Beauty Say What Foundation. This retails for $39, and I've heard so many people raving about this. My friend Angie Angelica Nukvis, she really loves this foundation, and it looks so good on her that I just want to take her face and make it my face, face off. But I just have heard really great things about it, and it's supposed to be more of a like skin-like texture, so it's not quite a dewy foundation, which is what I usually go for, but I feel like I could mix it up a little bit, you know? I feel like I have so many dewy and light foundations that maybe it wouldn't hurt me to get something that was just medium coverage, skin-like foundation. By the way, this goes without saying, but any of these products that I'm mentioning, if you've used any of them because these are all new to me, comment down below, let me know what you think of them and if there's anything I absolutely need or if there's something that I really should pass on if it's like a complete shit product, tell me please. The next foundation is the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation. This retails for $35. This is something I've wanted to try for so long and I don't know why I haven't just bit the bullet and bought it at this point. This comes in 14 shades, which I don't think is that abnormal for just a kind of tinted moisturizer. It's a little more than a tinted moisturizer, but for a very light coverage foundation, I feel like 14 shades isn't that bad. Of course, I prefer a much bigger range, but when it comes to like foundations, I feel like you need to have a massive range. I feel like you can get away kind of a little bit with skin tints and like lighter coverage to have lesser of a range. Let me know what you all think. But this one has a water resistant barrier for long wear and to improve hydration. I have seen several YouTubers use this and I always love the results. It looks like a my skin, but better. And it just evens out the skin tone, but it's nice and dewy looking. Oh God, I love looking like a greased up turkey fresh out of the oven. You all know this. So just put all the oils, put all the hydration in my face and let me be, okay? The third and final foundation is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I have heard mixed reviews on this. I have heard some people swear that it is beautiful, that it makes them just almost look like they have plastic skin because it is so luminous, but the coverage is fantastic. And also like, I like Anastasia products. Never used a foundation by them before. So I would be curious, this retails for $38 and comes in 50 shades, which I think is super impressive. So I am really happy about that. So I guess maybe I'm like rethinking my stance on the tinted moisturizer. Like, should it come in more than 14 shades? Sound off down below. But this foundation is supposed to be hydrating and it's supposed to fill in like fine lines and wrinkles with some vitamin E. It's just supposed to be really good for the skin and have good ingredients as well. I'm really curious to try this one. Um, I, like I said, I. I want to branch out. I want to love like a matte foundation or something like that, but I am a dewy luminous kind of girl and this one has the word luminous right in the freaking title. How, like it, they just were like, hey, Linda, what's up? <laughs> I promise I do have some 
some like drugstore priced items in here. The CoverGirl Clean Fresh Hydrating Concealer. It retails for $11.99, but as I'm filming this, it's on sale for $8.39. I've heard really good things about this one. I've heard that it is a lighter coverage, but again, I prefer a lighter coverage, especially under my eyes because I am not 16. So if I put something cakey, if I put a sharp tape, and I'm calling it sharp tape, under my eyes, it's just going to cake up. It's going to cling to every single wrinkle and line that I didn't even know I had. This one is supposed to be very hydrating. It comes in 14 colors and it's really affordable. So I really think I'm going to wind up giving this one a shot either way. But again, if you've tried it, let me know because they did have foundation that came out in this line, which was like skin milk or something along those lines. But all I know is that I saw a couple people that really broke out from it. So let me know if you've tried the hydrating concealer and what you think. Next is makeup. So you're going to see a theme here, but you guys know what kind of colors I like. What's weird is like, I love warm sunset -y colors. I am so drawn to them. But then at the same time, I'm wearing like acid wash green and yellow, but go figure. The first one surprised me. So this is the LA Girl Break Free Eyeshadow Palette BU. It retails for $15.99 for what is this, 16 shades? Yes, yeah, 16 shades. And it is in these beautiful, beautiful warm sunsetty tones that like make me squishy in my pants. They're so freaking beautiful. This reminds me a little bit of the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. You guys might know that that is one of my favorite palettes of all time. So why do I need another one? This is my fantasy, not yours. Suck it. But I could just so see this being a palette that I use really often. I do use my Sunset Palette really often, but just those warm tones, those shimmers, they, it just really, really appeals to me. And they have a beautiful highlight shade in there, which I feel like is unusual a lot of times for bigger palettes. They go like full rainbow or full monotone, where it's monotone, monochrome, where it's just like 18 different shades of brown. And maybe there's like one shade of brown that's like a little bit lighter than the other shades of brown. And you're supposed to highlight with brown. I just know. Nope. No. So yeah, that palette really, really appeals to me, but I do, I do have other palettes because this is my fantasy. Next is the Dose of Colors Cutting Edge Eyeshadow Palette. This retails for $32 and is only for five eyeshadows. If you've ever used Dose of Colors eyeshadows before, you probably know why this would be on my list. The quality is so good. The only thing that I don't love about their quality is that I always see a lot of kick up in the pan. Now, I know that shouldn't bother me. That shouldn't be a big deal. But like I have a couple palettes and they're just kind of a mess when you open them. But this color story, oh my God, it's like a dream. It is just kind of grungy and dark. But that yellow pop is so juicy. Oh my gosh, I just love this color story. Like I want my wardrobe to look like this color story kind of. It's so, so freaking dreamy. It's got that dark olivey green and mm, mm, delicious. So I feel bad because this next one is so similar, but again, this is from Uma Beauty and this is the Allure Black Magic Color Palette. Oh, I think it's also because it's turning fall here in Baltimore. So these are the tones that I love as soon as the weather switches. These are like leaves on a tree, but also moss. It's very earthy tones. Just, oh God, those greens, those olivey greens are just making me like, oh, la, la. but it's always sold out. It's always sold out and it's so frustrating. This retails for $44, by the way, and has 10 shades. I, again, have never tried Uma Beauty at all. So I really want to try them because people are talking about them like they are the next coming and I really want to give it a shot. And this color palette, oh gosh, it really speaks to me in like so many ways. The next thing I want to try is by BH Cosmetics, and these are the OMG Glitter Liquid Eyeliners. These retail for $12 each. There's only four shades, and I'm not going to lie that none of the shades really scream to me. There's like a silver and there's a black. Them, I think the quality is amazing. I love to use those as shadow toppers for when I want just like a little bit of a punch, especially in the inner corner. But if this is a more affordable brand, like the heavy metal glitter liners are not that expensive, but nonetheless, if this is more affordable, I would love to try it. So again, if you've tried these, let me know how you like them because I am very curious. I mean, I mm, which one would I get? I know me and I'd probably get the gold one or the black or maybe the silver or just all of, all of them. <laughs> 
And then let's close this out with lips. So I did a live stream again with my friend Angie the other day, and she talked about the Juvia's Place lip liners. Now they don't have many shades, they only have six, but there is this one, oh my gosh, the color is Sweet Nothing, and it is described as a soft brown beige. God, does that sound boring? It looks like my perfect nude lip liner though, okay? It looks beautiful and she swears that they are creamy but not too creamy and they go on and they stay on and they are $10 each. Also, Juvia's Place is considered to be one of Ulta's, I, I don't wanna say drugstore brands, but not prestige. They're considered to not be a prestige brand. So you can always use a coupon on them. So I'm really curious to try these. Uh, they do only have six shades again, but at least three of them appeal to me. So beautiful. And finally, uh, this one is, is a little bit of a cheat because I've already tried this product and I loved it so much that I went through an entire tube of it and I want to restock. And that is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lip Color in Fiery. This retails for $22. This is such a good red. It's really deep. It has blue tones in it, which make your teeth look hella white and it is so freaking comfortable. I never hear anyone really talking about the Stila Stay All Day, but when I'm going for a red lip, I just really prefer a liquid lipstick because I love my lip line to be absolutely precise and I don't need a glossy red lip personally. That's one of the only cases in my life that I like something to be completely matte. So for me, a red lipstick has to be a liquid formula and it has to be good. And this one is so, so, so good. If you're looking for a good red liquid lipstick, I highly, highly recommend this one. So that's it. I know that this video was not too long, but I did want to just kind of go over this. I thought this was a lot of fun and I love window shopping online. Just, you know, imagining what I would get if I won the bazillion dollar lottery. So the current total value of my cart, keeping in mind that some of these items were on sale as I'm filming this, came to $869.57. It's so funny because I know that there are so many people who like drop that in just one shopping trip, but that just seems like so much money to me. Like I'll admit like I'm doing okay. I have a good job and I don't spend above my means, but at the same time, like I don't know if I could ever drop that much in one trip. What is the most you've ever dropped in one makeup shopping trip, whether it was online or in person? I'm really curious. Also, let me know down below what would be in your fantasy cart from Ulta? What item like do you have trouble putting your credit card down for? But if you had like carte blanche and you could buy anything you wanted, it would be like the first thing you'd go for. That's it. Thank you all so much for being here. Again, I would love it if you'd subscribe and become a part of the family. I do put out new videos every Monday and I would love to have you here. And please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It really does help out my channel. Links for everything I talked about will be linked down below so you can shop right from the description box. As always and forever, you all are super freaking rock stars and I love you with my whole, whole, whole heart. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.